things is our mind is all over the place. When we simplify things, we learn a lot more. We talk about our forehand, we talk about our backhand, but our emotion plays a tremendous part in it. So we want another part of us to actually take over when we're playing. And the trick is really, I have to allow my body to do what it knows how to do. And the problem is that you don't have perhaps the confidence to allow that part to actually play the game. Focus. What's in my control, what's out of my control. Anxiety comes from uncertainty, fear, not knowing. It's actually the perceived amount of control that we have or we don't have, that we think that we have or we don't have, the perceived amount. So on the tennis court, what are you in control of? Your emotions, your decisions. Non-judgmental awareness. It's absolutely critical to be able to be the observer of the self. Rather than in it and being emotionally upset, we want to be able to observe and notice what's happening. We're going to take these concepts that we learn in here, and then Fred is going to do drills on the court. So breathing and relaxation is a big part of being calm, cool, and collected. It's all about the skill. You know, I teach these mental skills to every single person that I work with. These are life skills. Everything that we're talking about is training the unconscious mind. And all the great players do this. That's what we're doing. It's learning how to train.